everyone welcome back to skiller this is aman and i hope you all are doing good in this tutorial we are going to build stopwatch so i have already started it and you can notice it's uh, the timer is uh, 1 minute and 41 second minute our uh, seconds is getting updated i can stop it it has been stopped it stop and i can even reset it right and let's just start it again and you will notice it has started from zero so yeah this is the functionality which is going to be in our stopwatch and let's just build this First of all, I am going to have three files, uh, one for index.html, another for CSS and last but not the least, JS file, right? First, uh, let's just have a boilerplate and give it uh, title, stopwatch, make sure to link our files, start with CSN and at the end, just add a uh, script.js, okay? Now, uh, if you notice here, uh, uh, you will observe that, uh, or I can say, uh, how are we going to structure this? So, this is going to be structure. Uh, this whole things will be covered in a big container, right? And inside this big container, we have three containers: one for these times, another one for this text, and the last one for buttons. So, let's just have a container inside this. So I'm going to have three containers: time container text container and at the end uh, we will be having button container we do have three uh, containers and let's just have a uh, first one for r dot r inside this let's just have uh, zero zero first one and uh, then again uh, let's have for one for minute and uh, one for seconds mm. second and second is going to be zero at the start let's just see uh, how it looks go live so yeah we do have uh, these uh, time and let's just have text now text uh, is going to be similar uh, mm, okay R, let's just have R here, or we can have it in a para. We, we don't need to give it a different class, let's just have three paras P tags, and let's just have R minute and seconds. hours minute and second yes we do have this so uh, now let's just have the three buttons so let's uh, have btn dot three or we can have a dot start btn start button give this start and stop button stop stop button here uh, stop and uh, here mm, reset button mm, reset so we do have these things right r minute second and start stop reset the structure is completed now let's just move to styling part uh, for all tags let's just give uh, margin 0 uh, padding 0 and uh, border box sizing to border box just give font family as well uh, sans serif first of uh, first thing foremost we are going to get this in the center so for this i'm going to the parent of container that is body and giving it display flex uh, just divide to the center and line items to the center as well give it some height and width to 100 vw okay uh now uh, let's come to the container give it some height and width okay mm, just give it some height 100 pixel and uh, as for now just give it background color so that it's visible to us that 
okay so this is how it looks uh, i think we should increase the height and remove the background color okay so, so far so good it does looks good but we need to align them right mm, yeah so our time container let's move to time container and align this time container and uh, display flex so it's in a row similar thing for our mm, text container display flex as well and same thing for our button container okay mm, uh, B, I think spelling is wrong button or uh, container okay cool so these all three are in, inside our container okay uh, let's just give it some height to first one no uh, first one right so let's uh, give it height time container um, or font size increase its font size to 5 ram cool oh, it does looks good now uh, to our r minute and second i think we don't need to change uh, their uh, font size or uh, let's just give them color different text container or uh, color gray okay uh, and we need to style our buttons there give it some width mm, 50 pixel background color gray i think uh, height let's just see how 50 pixel 50 pixel looks to background color is okay it's a class so we need to put dot here mm. height width let's see okay uh start btn stop btn and this so start btn okay we need to decrease the height and increase the width decrease it to 20 increase it to 60 let's see how it looks mm, or 50 and align it to center this flex align it to center justify content center as well okay uh, start button let's just increase the height a bit and width I think width is good just increase the height to 50 pixel on 30 and 60 okay so same same styling we need for start uh, stop button similar for dot reset button I think I have forgot to put dot there okay mm, display flex uh, align item to center button container uh, is just uh, uh, align them to center and justify content to space evenly okay cool same things we need to do for align them in center as well and justify the content to space not between we just have around mm, okay Mm, justify them to space around okay uh, if we need to just give some height to each of this to total height we have given is 200 pixel right so for time container we are going to give more so 100 pixel let's just give it 100 pixel and two uh, text container let's just give it some less height it will be like uh, 100 uh, 100 is remaining so give it some 40 i think uh, let's see how it looks 40 pixel and to our button container remaining one which is uh, 60 60 pixel okay or oh, it does looks good we just need to i i think it's font size is bigger but i don't think it's an issue so we just uh, need to reduce it to 
okay I, I think it does looks good we don't need to change anything just give it the button color uh ptn btn container just give it color of white smoke or white can even work a uh, little bit of border radius two pixel or oh, let's just increase to five okay this does looks good start stop reset the button is there okay if you notice uh, one thing here if i hover on any button or click not hover if i just click on any button it's uh, the effect is like this uh, as it disable so let's just talk glass as well here disable glass disable uh, what's happening here uh, just opacity is decreased so let's just decrease the opacity to uh, opacity or uh, decrease 2.5 and uh, first of all let's just uh, make the cursor to disable Mm. not allowed if i put a uh, disable class uh, to this or uh, disable so you can see the effect is there not in, in the, this in this so you can see uh, the disable effect is there we just need to decrease the opacity so opacity uh, opacity is uh, let's have 0.5 so yeah this effect is there we'll apply it with, it with the help of javascript so yeah uh, styling is completed now we'll be implementing the functionality in the next part of this video if you do have any doubt please do leave a comment and don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel bye